another exception. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I mean, compared compared to the the previous, it's so much finer in, in detail. And there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, it, this one is has more of that you know what in you know what up until now we've come to associate with sustainable design, as I say, you know the sort of more complicated. Which an exceptional energy efficiency and it reduces the water consumption by 72 percent and you can see that especially from the building section here that every aspect of environmental design was considered um, the sun aspect the rain the water um, integration into the landscape the natural daylighting ventilation everything has been incorporated it's very intelligently there's a little bit of the Adirondack style kind of mm -hmm. poking, you know, evident, which is, you know, very appealing. And I think also, you know, there's a kind of almost a domestic quality to it relative to, to the other ones we've seen. Like mm -hmm. the other ones are more more overtly institutional, whereas this one kind of almost mm -hmm. has a, you know, it, you one would almost see it as a cottage. Even though it's an institution, it's just—it's a very different architectural expression, and perhaps well suited for this typology. And that cottage thing, the way the cottage garden <laughs> crowds up yeah. the front entry, is uh, a very dramatic, you know, statement about conservation and the integration of buildings into the land.